Ashtardi, the goddess of the evening star. Her origins are in Western Semitic and Phoenician cultures. Her known period of worship was circa 1500 BC to roughly early 200 Common Era. And culturally, she had spread to the Egyptians, the Philistines as Ashtoreth, the Canaanites as Ashira, and beyond that in the other cultures as well. Her cult centers were many, including major cult centers at Tyr and Sidon, as well as Byblos, Ascalon, Carthage, Kition, Erex, and Malta. She has been associated with war and sexual love. She is described most often as a Near Eastern goddess. She was ultimately introduced into Egyptian mythology during the second intermediary period. Inscriptions from the first century BCE at her major temple at Sidon suggest that she was an emanation of the deity Baal Samen, personifying his divine power. In first century inscriptions at the sanctuary dedicated to Aphrodite, she is described as the holy Syrian goddess. In Egyptian mythology, she becomes the daughter of either Ra or Ptah, and also the consort of the god Seth. She is the same goddess ultimately worshipped by the Philistines and the Canaanites, and she had many similarities to the Mesopotamian goddess who was Ashtar, the Lady of Battle, and there would often be confusion between the two, although they are shown together on various artworks and reliefs. In Egyptian art, Astarte is usually shown naked, brandishing weapons and riding on horseback, or driving a chariot, and this is a very different depiction from most Egyptian goddess who were typically not shown nude. The lion was one of Astarte's sacred animals, and she is sometimes given a lion head when she appears in her anthropomorphic form. In this form, I identified her with the Eye of Ra, or the, the so the solar lioness who is protector of the deity Ra. And like other goddesses who have played this noble role, including Hathor and Bastet, she is also depicted as a very beautiful woman. The Sphinx is said to be another animal sacred to her, and two are carved into her throne. In the New Kingdom, Set is offered both the goddess Astarte and Anat as compensation for losing his battle to Horus, and in the coffin text there is a spell that refers to Astarte and Anat becoming pregnant, but not giving birth to any children, and probably because of Set's association with abortion. Astarte is also linked to Set in another New Kingdom tale known as Astarte and the Sea, and the tale begins with an account of the separation of Earth and Sea and ultimately the creation of the world. The ruler of creation is challenged by Yam, who in his form of a seal embodies the, the chaotic aspect of the primal ocean. Yam demands tribute due to an overlord and threatens to flood the earth if he's not happy with his offerings. The harvest goddess Renanutet de delivers boxes of treasure to him, but it is not enough, and Renanutet sends a message bird to Astarte to wake the goddess and tell her to make more tribute to the angry sea spirit. When she goes to the shore to entice the spirit of Yam, she dances and ultimately attracts his attention. And Yam is smitten with the beautiful Astarte and wants to take her for his bride. And there are two versions to the ending of this tale, one being that the Enid, who had accepted Astarte as one of their own, prepares a dowry and she thus becomes the wife of Yam, the chaotic sea god. And in the separate tale, the deity Seth becomes in completely outraged as what he sees is a disrespect, and he violently defeats Yam and claims Astarte for his own bride.